What's up, YouTube? It's Lou Dizzle. You thought my channel was just a car audio channel, but it's not. I'm a general technology freak. So, what I'm going to be doing tonight is hanging this guy, the uh, 55 inch LCD, right there. And no, uh, never hung a TV on a wall before, but I'm a pretty intelligent individual, so i uh, pretty confident I can figure it out. So, I got the TV mount in today. Got it for a steal on eBay, like 75 bucks. It's articulating, it extends from the wall, fully tiltable, etc. See mounts like this uh, at Best Buy and stuff for like 300 bucks. There's my computer. That'll eventually be going up there on the little shelf there. When I get the TV hung, that's one of the main reasons why uh, I want to hang that so I can get the computer off the ground. It's an Xbox 360 and speakers and router and all that stuff so yeah I'm a technology freak so I'm gonna get to work uh, getting this thing on there and all that I'll update you guys here in a minute a little update getting ready to put that guy on there as you can see I got the uh, factory base plate mount off and I got the TV laid down there so can uh, work on it a little bit. Now I just gotta get those on each side and uh, once I do that I'll update you. Alright well I got the easy part done. This kinda doesn't show up too well on my camera cause it's all black but I got the bolts in it. Just check the fitment of the uh, actual bolt you know the bracket itself there and it fits. So I got the bracket on, but the hardest part is attaching it all to the wall and finding the studs and uh, making sure it can support the weight when the TV extends because uh, the physics of that, you know, it's about a 70 pound TV with it extended out 12 inches. The load amount that's on the uh, stud, it's a lot. So now I get to start the fun part trying to figure out where exactly it has to go. I'll get with you in a minute. Alright, using my trusty stud finder here, I found uh, the left stud and the right stud. I measured the distance from the bottom of the mount to the TV and I want the bottom of the TV to come right uh, to my computer there. So I got my measurements on the wall and looks like this isn't going to be as hard as I thought it was going to be. Probably the hardest part will be getting my lovely significant other to help me lift the TV up onto the bracket once it's mounted. So, But I got the first screw in. It's definitely a stud. The other one will go up there. I got to measure the distance between the two, but should be okay. So uh, once I got the wall mount, the, uh, the plate itself on there, I will update you. Well, taking a little break. Man, I tell you what, right not right about now. Wish I had a better drill than this. Just a uh, 14 volt Black and Decker. Cause as soon as that sucker right there gets into the stud, that drill says no thanks. So I got three of the four bolts in most of the way. Once I get them halfway into the stud, I gotta ratchet them. But that may help me sleep at night with my. Uh, you know, knowing that it's not going to fall, so I may do another one right in there, too. I don't know. Maybe. Probably. Probably will. It's probably where I'll put the, uh, the other bolt, because they give you six. So, that's the update as of right now. Got it hung. Got the right height. Uh, I did that by myself. <laughs> it's kind of hard to do, but, you know, it's amazing what you can do when you put your mind to it. So, I guess the next video will be when I got all the bolts in. I'm going to hang it. What's good, y'all? Man, that was some freaking hard work right there. But there's the semi-finished product. I still got to adjust it a little bit because it's uh, leaning a little bit too low to the right. And also, I got to take this top bolt out here that guy because he's uh the top one isn't into the stud but that one is and that one is so it's a pain in the ass but as you can see it's up there man and it's it's pretty firm i mean that tv's 
out a good 12 inches. I gotta have someone come over and help me angle it because I don't like it angled that much. But there it is. That's my view as I sit down in front of my computer monitor right there. Got my computer chilling there. Gonna need to get some cable hiders and all that lovely stuff. But, uh, you know, there's a bunch of stuff that needs to go on that shelf still. I gotta hook up two separate uh, surround sound systems. But, you know, the TV's hung. I don't have to worry about it falling. As you can see, it turns does all kinds of stuff tilted I like that it's on an angle now you know it extends out a bunch but I kind of want to keep it kind of want to keep it halfway like that so it's not extended out too far and because it looks kind of goofy when it's extended out all the way so I'll hide some of these cables and all that stuff but you know like I said my channel isn't just a car stereo channel I build computers, fix computers, car stereo, home audio, professional audio visual presentations, do all kinds of stuff. So the next part of this uh, home theater install will be hooking up my 5.1 receiver, um, getting some speakers ran to the end tables and some stands for the other speakers and I need to get a big old area rug and stuff that I can run the wires under. So. Uh, thanks for watching. This was just kind of out of the blue. I decided to tape this, but it's technology related, so I figured you might enjoy it. But once all the speakers are up, all the wires are hidden, and all that lovely stuff, it's going to be a thing of beauty. So I was really looking forward to being able to put my computer up there, because not only does it look nice, but I got a daughter, and she likes to yank on my cord. So thanks for watching. Subscribe if uh, you like technology, and uh, Shoot, maybe tomorrow morning I'll install my Crescendo. So lots of videos, lots of new stuff. Stay tuned.